Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's episode we're gonna analyze again our Bitcoin price compared to the DXY and also with the CME chart in the lower time frames. So make sure to watch the video till the end. This video is gonna be very important for the next moves of Bitcoin. And also just a side note before we start BitMEX currently is adding the KYC process to their exchange. So if you don't want to go through all this KYC thing, then maybe change right now from BitMEX and come over to Bybit or Femex or BTR. You find all the exchanges that I recommend you down below here if you want to trade with leverage cryptos and other assets because on those exchanges you never have to do any kind of KYC. So this is new on BitMEX. So if you want to leave BitMEX because this KYC thing, then please come over here to those exchanges, which I also recommend you. And if you are using my links, you also will get some bonus as well. So definitely go and leave BitMEX because in my opinion here, especially with Bybit or Femex, you're gonna do way better than with BitMEX. All right, guys, and now let's start here in the one hour time frame, because during the weekend we had here this nice breakout out of this resistance line from this falling wedge that we were in here. And uh, we build it up here, this little rising wedge with this breakout. Currently, we could see a potential fall down towards this 11,280 old resistance, which now could be acting as a support. So this is my target here. If this breakout is gonna start right now also we have now the rsi trading below the 15 the one hour so it is possible that we are right at the beginning here to come down towards 11,300 dollar again and if we switch over into the bollinger band you can see that currently we're trading right at the bottom so it is very likely that we're gonna overshoot it to the downside stochastic and macd are shifted to the downside so it looks like that we are in here for a correction possibly down to 11,300 dollar that is at least for now my target in case of a major breakdown because this was the old resistance which now could be acting as a support if this is gonna fail then prepare to see prices below eleven thousand dollars so most likely somewhere at around our first bearish target of ten thousand five hundred dollar we don't have to go necessarily down immediately to those levels but it is possible and if we have a look into the DXY in the one hour, you can see that after being oversold here, you can see it on the RSI and also at my own indicator as well. Currently we are seeing a bounce to the upside. So also here my target is to reach here between the 50 and 200 moving average in the one hour, which is at around $93. So I think if we're gonna have a nice bounce here to the upside, Bitcoin will come down a bit, correct a bit, and then continue the push to the upside but as long as the dxy is having this bounce here to the upside i think uh, bitcoin could fall further down and we can also open up the cmes here in the one hour because also here you see that we looked quite toppy here even my indicator gave a clear sell signal here in very overbought condition and as well we have here now a new cme gap down at 11650 here in the cme chart that means around 11,400 for the spot market. So that's why my target is still to reach this $11,300 before maybe we're gonna see another bounce to the upside. But for now, I think it is clear that we will come down eventually also to fill this CME gap and potentially also retest this old resistance, which now is new support in the spot chart. And now let's go over to the four hour time frame because here, even though it looked quite bullish here because we were trading again above all the moving averages currently we are falling down again below the 200 and also as you can see i got here a sell signal in the four hour time frame but of course it's not yet confirmed so we are still here above the 50 level in the rsi so in theory as long as we're closing four hour candles above 11,600 dollars everything is good to go to the upside but it is very likely that in the next couple of hours we're gonna have a close here below and could see a possible correction down towards this $11,300 
target and also if you have a look into the Bollinger Band here in the four hour you can see that we again closed below the first moving average so right now we are trapped here between 11,640 and 11,560 that was also my entry from my Friday's short that is still opened so probably I'm gonna close it as soon as I will get again a buy signal in my own indicator but for now I'm gonna keep up my short open even if we pump again towards 12,000 because based here in the four hour time frame it looks like that we are gearing up here for a possible correction towards the bottom here which is also here at $11,400. You can see that the stochastic is already shifted to the downside and the MACD could have here a bearish cross in the next couple of hours so I think most likely latest today here we're gonna have a bearish cross and a possible correction down to these levels. And let's open up here the DXY in four hours as well, because here we have exactly the opposite. Here we have a buy signal. So here in my indicator, we were very oversold here in the DXY. So a bounce here was very likely. And uh, also you can see that the RSI is right at the bottom here. So a bounce, at least a short lift one up to retest here, the 50 level is very likely. And if we open up the CMEs here, we still have some room left to the upside. So let's see if here we still have some room left to the upside or are we seeing a correction right now? Because here on the CME, you can see that currently we're trading above the 20 and 50 moving average, which is very bullish. The problem is that the 200 is down here at $11,100. So it is also possible that here we're going down to retest even here the 200 before we're gonna see a uh, bounce to the upside. But here the CMEs in the four hour doesn't look too bad. Only here the spot price is looking like it's gonna be a bit bearish because we have now a sell signal. We're coming down to the 50 level in the RSI. And if we're gonna lose this level, then most likely we're coming down towards this 11,000. 300 to 11,400 dollar target and we can open up now the daily time frame because here in the daily you can see that yesterday we had a nice close above the 20 daily moving average so above 11,550 and now currently we are retesting the 20 daily moving average so if today we are able to close above the 20 daily moving average so above 11,560 then we have the confirmation that we're going to bounce probably from this moving average again to the upside and retest this $12,000 pretty soon although the RSI is right at the 50 level so we are in a very important point where we're going to see a big bounce towards 12k maybe even higher or if we are not able to confirm here the support at the 20 daily most likely gonna see a huge correction to the downside and by now you know already my targets they are between ten thousand five hundred to nine thousand six hundred dollar the most bearish targets because there also we still have our cme gap at nine thousand six hundred dollar and therefore we can go over to the cme chart because here you can clearly see this cme gap that we have and also here you can see that we are bouncing currently from the 50 level in the RSI. So in theory, we are still here moving to the upside, but the correction is still in the cards. And if we switch over into the DXY, also here you can see that the DXY is still looking very bearish for the long term. We are getting rejected always here from the 20 daily moving average. But with this move here, with this possible bounce here to the upside, I think it is possible that we're gonna retest again the 20 daily and then have another confirmation that we have this moving average as a resistance here at currently 93 dollars only if we're able to break here the 20 daily and start to trade between the 20 and 50 i think we could see a possible bigger bounce here to the upside maybe even here towards the 97 dollar level where the 200 daily moving average is lining up but overall at the end most likely we're gonna crash here and this will mean that on bitcoin we're gonna see a parabolic run to the upside and now let's have a look all the way into the Bollinger Band here in the Bitcoin price, the daily time frame, because here we were trading almost above the middle line. We had yesterday the close and right now we're trading again below. So it's going to be depending where we're going to close today. If we are able to close here in the upper area, then of course the way is free to go towards $12,150. If we are not able to maintain here the middle line, then we're going to trade again in this lower part. And the bottom is currently at 11,250. So more or less where our target is for this possible move right now to the downside. 
Also, you see that the MACD is still shifted to the downside and we have the stochastic still in oversold condition. So here we could expect a possible bounce to the upside, but at least for the next couple of hours, I'm expecting here correction possibly down to retest this 11,300 to 11,400 dollars. So if you want to trade this possible dump, then you know where you can trade it, Bybit, Femex and so on. You find all the links down below here in the video description. With my links you can get some bonus and you can go long, you can go short with your cryptos and if you want to use your Tether then use the exchange BitYard because here you can also go long, you can go short on cryptos only with your Tether without even owning the coins. And if you're interested you're also very welcome to join our free Discord trading chat. The chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome and currently I have my own indicator over there in a 24-7 stream where you can see the one hour and three hour time frame and here basically you will get and see the sell and buy signals at your own but of course it's still in test phase and in the final product most likely you will only see the time frames that are going to be relevant for my indicator which is the three hour time frame and you're going to see on one side the bitcoin price and at the other side the dxy because they have an inverse correlation and that is very helpful if you want to trade bitcoin especially with the leverage so if you're interested right now you can go and check out the free test channel where i have my indicator there but you see currently only the one hour and three hour time frame on the bitcoin price of course you can already trade with it but of course the final product will have the dxy and the bitcoin chart so you can better trade the possible moves to the upside or to the downside like we're seeing currently because on Friday I pointed out that most likely we're gonna have a bounce on the DXY because right here we had a buy signal the weekend came so we had like an interruption but right now we are seeing a possible bounce here to the upside in the DXY coming up in the next couple of hours and the same thing on Bitcoin that here we got the sell signal and most likely we're gonna have a correction down to possibly 11,300. It doesn't mean that we have to go straight down there but it is very likely based on the indicator here. And with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to moon up the likes, leave me any kind of comment you want, it helps the algorithm. And of course, tune in every day because we do daily TA videos on Bitcoin, sometimes also on altcoins. And also later today, we're gonna do the big $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway that we do every week. So make sure to tune in later and subscribe to the giveaway on our subscription video. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.